our West Coast semifinal. For the last several months, we've been on a nationwide search for the funniest undiscovered comedians in the country. I'm going down. Along the way, we've been entertained by thousands of comedians. Some performances were original. I'm broke. I'm so broke, I'm writing my postcards on the back of stamps. Others just missed the mark. Started to paint my house today, but I ran out of whiteout. Some were just plain bizarre. Yeah! Yeah! I've been here all freaking week, folks. The objective for Last Comic Standing? To discover those comedians who possess the talent to become the next big NBC star. This could be the beginning of the rest of my life. Comedy experts Bob Reed and Ross Mark led our nationwide comedy search. Bob and Ross are responsible for booking all of the comedians who appear on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. What we're looking for in Last Comic Standing is a larger than life uh, personality, but also with the material and the jokes to back it up. They'll never recognize me with my mask on. Talk about yourself. Talk about what's funny to you. That, that's what will get you further, not doing like these not very good impressions. Seriously. It, was, it wasn't a very good Travolta? No, no. Tonight, it's the best of the West as comics from across the Western United States compete in our first semifinals. <laughs> Out of all the comics you see tonight, 10 of them will go to Las Vegas to our finals. Once the comics are in Las Vegas, they will challenge our East Coast semifinalists with the top 10 advancing to this house high in the Hollywood Hills, where they will live together and compete for the grand prize, their own special on Comedy Central, and an exclusive NBC talent contract. All right. We've assembled some of the finest talent on the West Coast. We're going to kick things off in our Los Angeles semifinals. This is important, guys. The first group's one through five. The second group is six through 11. Any other questions? We do have celebrity talent scouts that will help us tonight and choose who our finalists will be. Ladies and gentlemen, our first celebrity talent scout, a veteran of stand-up comedy and star of news radio, Fear Factors, Joe Rogan. Let's hear it. Joe Rogan! Yeah! One of the queens of comedy, ladies and gentlemen. We're lucky to have her from the Parkers. Monique is here! I want to tell jokes. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we also are very lucky to have a Hall of Famer, if you will. A man that whose face would be on the comedy Mount Rushmore. Please, big round of applause, Mr. Buddy Hackett. Yeah. John and Pat, come on up over here. I see that Tina Kim, right? Yeah. Yeah. So look. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, rock and roll, let's do it. I'm Ralphie May. That's the pimp. Today we're cooking gumbo. We're gonna have some people over. I'm not politically correct, ever. It's just not politically correct gumbo either. I am a little nervous because these aren't lightweight comics you're dealing with, and you're going to go up in front of them. I mean, with five minutes, even if I had a joke that bombed at the first part of it, I could still rock throughout the rest of my set and redeem it. But in three minutes, that's it. Did you really have to pan? Seriously. <laughs> Did you have to pan? How about a big round of applause for Ralphie May? Hey. Um, I'm sad. I got three minutes, and it took me two to get up to here. Um, I'm Ralphie May. I'm not from here. I'm from Houston, Texas. I now live here in Los Angeles. I live in a dangerous part of Los Angeles called Los Angeles. I, I, I live in a place called Duh Hood, D-A Hood, Duh Hood. Population, all them bitches. Can I get a woo woo holla? Hood <laughs> <laughs> The hood's fantastic. It's just different. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like, we don't have a Jack in the Box restaurant. Y'all, we got a Jizzak up in the Beox. That's all we got. <laughs> and you got to order like you're from the hood or the drive through guy will shoot you. Out of respect. It's like, yo, what up, player? Yo, money, can you give me a jumbo jizzack? And he's testing me, y'all. He goes, oh, whipped cheese? Pfft, well, hell yeah. <laughs> and I want to send me a shout out to the fry guy. I'm gonna 
much love for the fry guy. Bum bum risen and fries. Bum 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 bum. I want a cold drink. Bow down the cold drink. Bow down. And I need me a chicken sandwich for my baby's mama. He was like, word. <laughs> Yo, son. Yo, son. All right, B, let me repeat that back to you, Gibson. We didn't meant none. You want to say money? You want a jumbo juice with cheese? Word. You want to say a shout out to the fry guy? Got much love for the fry guy. Bum bum risen and fries. Ha ha ha. Can I get a woo woo? Shady G, Scott and LaRock. You want a cold drink, bow down, the cold drink, bow down. And you need a chicken sandwich for your baby's mama, because you a hustler, baby. Ralphie, uh, just so there's no conflict of interest, were you ever on Fear Factor? No, never. Okay, good. I could be an event. <laughs> it's Fear Factor. In one of Ralphie's creases, we hid something. You have 35 seconds to find it. It's fear of factor. They're like, to hell with it. I'll, I'll eat the bugs. I'll eat the bugs. I ain't going in the crevice. If you get into that house, you're at an other level of comic. You're at another level in your career. You have just passed the threshold. Okay, you're now a nanny. Don't go away. The last of our comics perform before we decide who is Las Vegas bound. Teams and I'm not gonna get picked. But I was picked. Fourth, not last. Uh, ooh, I, uh. Ralphie May. <laughs> Respect, baby. I don't think I'll win, but I don't need to win. That's not, I've, if I get into the house, then I've already won.